All right, let's move on to another issue, and you know one that I have, well, some scepticism about. Um, climate change, or man-induced climate change, and whether or not we all need to stop drinking milk, eating meat, drive EVs, and destroy our economy to comply with some, you know, global emissions targets. We uh, contribute bugger all uh, carbon in the scheme of things in New Zealand anyway. Our agricultural production is the most carbon efficient in the world, bar none. Um, and we've seen, haven't we, um, what happens when you take arable farmland and you just plant crappy trees on it. Um, and also, of course, in the wake of subtropical storm, that's why the time I hit here was a subtropical storm, Gabriel, and the devastation and havoc it has caused, particularly in Hawke's Bay and East Cape. Of course, the Greenies, Greenpeace and, and the Greenie politicians and the Pearl Clutches have all said, this is climate change, this is why we must do more. This is why the climate crisis is with us. And we've never seen such extreme weather. It's never happened before, and it's all because I drive a V8 diesel uh, Range Rover Sport of indeterminate age. Um, and I've just for a long time thought that this, this hysteria, this religious hysteria around climate change uh, has, to be, uh, has to be challenged. And I also think, but then I see something like that, and well, maybe it's true. Maybe I'm the person who was wrong. So I'm very interested to see long-time investigative journalist Ian Wishart has actually gone back through New Zealand's weather records and he's produced a report, um, which I haven't got time to read to you today, it's very long, about whether or not we're being told the truth about extreme weather events or the lily of climate change is being somewhat gilded. He published that report yesterday, uh, and we're going to find out exactly where and where you can get it, and he joins us. He joins us on the line um, now. Ian, how are you, mate? Good morning, Sean. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. And, geez, we haven't talked for a while, mate. Now, Investigate Magazine, you're online now rather than in printed form, or both? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's investigatemagazine.co.nz, and just search up Climate of Fear on the search bar. Okay, so this report you've produced, Climate of Fear... And there's a lot on it. I, I want you to give me the headline takeout on this, Ian, to your point of view. Well, the biggest one is, like you, I was thinking, well, are we in an era of uh, more extreme weather? So I decided to go back through papers past after Gabriel and, and take a, a, a damn good look. And it turns out that most of the extreme weather events in our past are missing from the database. What? What do you mean percent. missing? They're not there. They don't appear. NEWA has put out a, a historical weather events database that's used by journalists, climate journalists and um, researchers to, uh, you know, pull up instantly for those explainers and fact-checking things. This is what happened in the past. 83%, I think, is the exact figure um, of the major events bigger than Bola aren't in there. What? Yeah, they're missing. They're just, they're just not there. NEWA, I think, have a... Uh, it's either a resource issue or a... Uh, or I didn't see the narrative issue, I don't know, I can't... Give me any... some examples of big weather events on the scale of Gabriel that aren't being reported because Niwa has deliberately or, or accidentally erased them from our, our statistical memory. In the Climate of Fear report, there's, it reveals basically there's about 20 boulder size events that hit New Zealand within a space of 22 years. Uh, and when was this? Is, when was this? 20... I picked. A, I just picked, picked a, a the time period it ran beginning with the February 68, 1868 storm that hit New Zealand and uh, ending in 1890, so 22 years because the, there's so many weather entries in papers past that you, you spend a year going through them all. So I picked a data, data set that I could manage and went through them and, and during those 22 years, there's around 20, 24 events that have hit New Zealand at the size of bowler, average of one a year. And, and to put that in perspective, neither when they did their big release last week about how Gabriel was the biggest of them all, found three in the last 60 years, basically. So actually the weather, extreme weather, used to be worse, and, worse, and that was kind of pre-serious industrialisation on the globe, wasn't it? Yeah, two, two factors to consider. There was a low-carbon economy, there was no uh, SUVs being driven around, and the weather was about a degree and a half colder than it is now, so those two things. But despite that fact, uh, big cyclones and big storms in New Zealand were far more frequent than they are now, and they were far bigger. They covered more area. They had a deeper, deeper load. The, the test of the Climate of Fear report is barometric pressure. 
and scientists are figuring out that uh, the the deep on the low on the on the weather map is what allows storm surge. That's the sea rising, and sea rise can be two, three, four, even 14 metres in the record event in Australia. So the storm surge is what causes coastal inundation. That's what they're really worried about with sea level rise and climate change. And these storms in the past, they're massive monsters. Uh, to give you an example, just briefly, Gabriel is estimated at 963 uh, he- hectopascals as its ultimate low in New Zealand. Uh, one of the big storms we cover in, um, in Climate Affair Report was 948 hectopascals, much, much lower. Uh, Cyclone Giselle, which sank the Wahine, 968 hectopascals. Another storm hit Auckland, 955. So the history of our weather systems is that uh, we had, we have been hit repeatedly much, much harder. There's reports in the climate of fear from papers past of people watching half of Grey, Greymouth being washed away into the sea uh, or Norsewood in, in the Hawke's Bay being raised to the ground by flames in a, in a drought. So we've had extreme weather events and we've had them frequently. So look, I guess you take what you've published here to its logical conclusion that would suggest that we're in the grips of an irrational hysteria about climate change right now. Yeah, I think I think the Climate Affair Report, and there's, there's two things you can take from the Climate Affair Report. First is the, the usual suspects uh, who do explainers and fact-checking have not attacked this report. They won't go near it. Secondly, the uh, report raises a fundamental question. Is what we're being told about extreme weather and climate re- real? Does it, does it link up the way that they say it does, or is it wrong? Because what we're seeing from the historical past is that when New Zealand was colder and it was lower carbon, we got hit by far more storms and bigger storms than we're getting now. So despite the fact we're taking some punishment at the moment, it was nothing compared to what our predecessors and ancestors took uh, 155 years ago. All right. Have you asked Niwa for a please explain as to how they lost all this data or missed it? Yeah, they're working on it. What do you mean they're working on it? (laughs) (laughs) I, I, I raised this issue with them first on Twitter. And uh, they came back and admitted that they, the data wasn't there, but they had they were trying to think of various reasons a bit as to why that uh, they had to go with uh, uh, definite uh, barometer readings and that sort of thing. And I pointed out to them the ones we'd used were from port authorities and ships. And, and back in the 1850s and 1860s, the attack was pretty good. Lived, oh. they, 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 they lived and died on the barometer readings. If they got it wrong, the ship sank. So they got their readings right. Nee was got it wrong. Okay. Um, have they given a timeline for when they're going to issue their their explanation? No, they have. They they haven't. Uh, that's an, a question, I guess, for the media to follow up if anyone does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we will. Um, who are you dealing with at NEWA, Ian? I've been debating with uh, Ben Noll and, and one of his assistants, Drew Laurie. And and to be fair, they've been polite and 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 oh, good reasonable. on them. Just like the uh, but, of the human but I think it, you know. <laughs> Uh, but I think the, the issue, the fundamental issue is that uh, this is a database that's used by climate researchers to point, pinpoint extreme weather events in New Zealand. Most of the extreme weather events and the biggest ones are not there. Yeah, and, so, so uh, it's great. bad data and you're going to get bad conclusions and bad outcomes, whatever, no matter how good yeah, you well, are. If, 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 to, to, to put it in simple terms, if you're telling the, the whole of New Zealand population every night on the TV news that... Uh, this is Cyclone Gabriel as an example of climate change and extreme weather frequency that our summer soaking is entirely due to climate change and it's worse now than it's ever been. That's a lie. Yeah, because in the past 200 years ago, we were far worse than we are now. So is that a lie to your way of Yeah, thinking? but it's, it, 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 it's wrong. Lie is a word, I guess, that uh, re- requires motive. But it's, 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 it's wrong and those who are gatekeeping the TV news bulletins and, and the climate change reports uh, uh, willfully ignorant and, and turning their eyes away. From Surely, the though, though, Ian, the green pieces of this world have come for you on Twitter and others, or not? Oh, I'm getting the occasional troll pop up, but um, the reality is I think people are watching for the climate change reporters who normally do the fact-checking and explainers to explain this away. Anything uh, from that, that funny little guy, Mark Dolder, at Newsroom? Because he's all, all over this like a robber's dog. Yeah, well, they've all been... They've all been their silence has been given for the last three days. Wow. I think we might ask some questions of the minister. Who's the minister of meteor minister responsible for NEWA? Must we must what? find that out. Look, Indeed. I think it's fascinating. Now, I don't suppose you're gonna let me publish this on the platform, but would you be happy yes, with yes, we... you, you, you you can. There's a there's a PDF download link. Any I've made it available for free to anybody. So anyone who goes to the investigate magazine dot site and searches for climate of fear in the search box. 
Uh, there's actually a PDF link All on right. the report page. You can we will put a link to it, or, or we'll put it up in conjunction when we republish this interview in uh, on no online. Problem. Because, you know, I'd like to thank you for doing this and for taking the time to do this. I'll be honest; I don't have the time. I instinctually feel that much of what we hear about climate change in mainstream media is, uh, sorry, bunk. Um, and is politically motivated and designed. A and I'd like to commend you for actually going back and doing, doing as the average online nutter tells me to, doing the research and yeah, finding well, th that, that there are big gaps in the data. Yeah, look, I I'm not saying there's not a need for adaptation. Clearly, we've been building house houses and flood zones and so forth for a long time. And, and interestingly enough, that's exactly the story the Climate Affairs Report tells. They, 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 we had these debates 150 years ago, for heaven's sake, we're still making the same mistakes. So there is something that has to be done. Mm. But to live in panic and fear of uh, sea level rise, you can actually see how bad it was in the past. And I don't think carbon dioxide is causing it. Mm. Yeah, OK. Uh, Ian, quite a lot of text too. People are very interested in what you have to say. Thank you for your work. Nice talking to you again after quite a long time. We must catch up soon. All the best. Cheers. That is Ian Wishart from Investigate magazine, investigate.com. He has gone back and he's found that 83% of the measured extreme weather events in New Zealand are not for some reason included in NIWA's database, which has the effect of supporting the historical, the historical uh, sort of coverage that climate change is responsible for Gabriel. And as he's just told you, and that, uh, as he's just told you, um, it would appear that um, because NIWA's data is uh, incomplete, 83% incomplete, the hysteria is being heightened. Um, boy, that is really, really interesting. Really interesting. So we will, climate of fear, we will publish that report and links to that report on our website today.